Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> I am in the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 8. Jesus heals many, says the title that this editor of this Bible put, but let's go and read the text in the King James Bible. And when Jesus was come into, his, into Peter's house, he saw his wife, mother, laid and sick of a fever. Just a little note. We know that there is a great denomination called Roman Catholic, where they say that uh, popes, priests, nuns cannot marry. And given that they, they say that Peter was the first pope, it's strange, isn't it? He's married. <laughs> the scriptures has the power to destroy the lives of men and uh, expose them actually first of all we know that Peter was not the first pope but was one of the 12 apostles that the Lord called to be his 12 apostles for the 12 tribes of Israel in the earthly ministry we know that the earthly ministry of Christ and the twelve was exclusively to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said in Matthew 15, 24, I've been sent but only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Hey, do you like my, my new watch? <laughs> just just to, to joke a little bit. He was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He said in Matthew 15, 24, I've been sent by only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then when he, he commissioned in Matthew 10, the 12, Peter, James, and John, and the rest, the 12 apostles, 12 apostles for 12 tribes of Israel, he sent them with the gospel of the kingdom, with the power to heal the sick, cast the devils, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, only to the Lordship of the house of Israel made it very clear do not go in the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans and to, you know but go rather to the Lordship of the house of Israel and Christ and his twelve that he, he created his twelve are preaching the gospel of the kingdom not the gospel of the grace of God only to the Jews or to Israel and this gospel of the kingdom require signs, mighty signs, operations, because Jesus as king of the kingdom, and when the kingdom will be operated, there will be no sick people. Plus, the prophecy said that the Messiah would come with these powers. You understand? So you got to ask yourself, what's happening? in modern Christianity. What kind of gospel are they preaching? Because if they would be preaching the gospel of the kingdom as Christ intended, they should have those powers for real in operation, but they haven't. I speak with experience because uh, in my ignorance and unbelief before I became a great preacher, before I discovered the doctrine or the revelation of the mystery given to Paul by the reason glorify Christ, I was myself for four decades involved in Pentecostalism, word of faith, uh, Baptist, uh, Presbyterian, everything, evangelical in general. Now I can't tell you how many times I pray for the sick and people that I knew prayed for the sick and the sick didn't get healed. And we were always a reason oh they, they haven't got enough faith so we will pray for somebody sick he stays sick even after prayers we will say oh you know he, he didn't get or she didn't get here because they didn't have enough faith nothing to do because look here and when jesus was coming to peter's house he saw his wife's mother laid and sick of a fever and he touched her hand, 
and the fever left her. It's no question that the woman had to have faith, have great faith. Uh, and she arose and ministered unto them. Notice <clears throat> the healing was instantaneous. Pray Christ by just touching her, touching her hand. The fever had to go because Christ was God in the flesh. And straight away, she, and she was in good shape because she wrote and ministered unto them. When the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. You will hear many times people say, demon, demon, demon. No, there are no demons in the King James Bible. But there is the devil and his devils. I want to specify this, not to be finicky, you know, but to make you understand. A demon can be nasty, bad, or even <clears throat> not so bad. Bonario, I can say nothing in Italian, we say bonario, you know, protective uh, entity, like in the, the Romans uh, had the, the, this protective uh, gods uh, at the entrance of the house, their little statue called the Lari, L-A-R-I, and they consider them demons, because demon, Daimon, comes from Greek mythology. That's why the corrupt Bibles use demon, but the correct, preserved, infallible Word of God, King James Bible, use devils. <coughs> when the even, evening, <clears throat> was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast the spirits with his word, and healed all that were sick. They might be fulfilled, you see, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, himself took out infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Now, this is written in Isaiah chapter 53 but you should also ask yourself but why was jesus healing all of them in israel except some they didn't have faith they didn't even go near him but those who were there sick waiting he healed them all okay we must understand christ came as the minister of the circumcision, a minister of God as the, of the circumcision to the circumcision, to the fathers of Israel, to confirm the promises that God made to the fathers of Israel. Now, the fathers of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, David, and so forth, is no us, you understand? And he wanted his nation, Israel, the 12 tribes, to be born again of water and spirit to see the kingdom that was coming with Jesus being the king and to enter in the kingdom with him. They had to believe that he was the Messiah, the king of Israel, the promised Messiah. There are 365 prophecies they fulfilled. In my website, thegracepriest.com, there is the 365 prophecies they fulfilled. I mean, if we fulfill one, wow, 365! <laughs> some uh, 351, some three, more than 300 for sure. And that proved beyond any possibility of doubt that Christ was indeed the Messiah, the King. They have to confess his name. Believe that he was the Messiah, the prophet, the Moses prophet said, you know, the Lord will raise among you a prophet just like me, and you shall hear him. Because just like at the time of Moses, if anybody didn't obey, follow, believe what Moses was saying, because God was giving to Moses what he had to do to the people, those who rejected Moses would be thrown out of the congregation of Israel. Same thing, they had to believe that Jesus was the Messiah King, confessing their name, confessing their sins, getting word about that, because priests and kings had to word, 
be water baptized, washed to start the ministry and to be utterly whole from head to toe to enter in the kingdom with Christ and being born again of spirit, water and spirit and serve the Lord and no king, no priest could be sick. Do you understand? It's not a question that capricious to you. Because why doesn't he heal us now? We get sick too, eh? We are not the twelve tribes. We are not into the king. We're not going into the kingdom on earth. We're going to the heavenly kingdom. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings were in heavenly places in Christ. We're going to receive uh, the catching up of the body of Christ and then we go to the judgment seat of Christ for the body of Christ, new glorified bodies. Our healing program is a new glorified, indestructible, uncorruptible, new glorified body, just like Christ when he was risen from the dead. In this dispensation, which we are, the dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians chapter 3, which started in Acts 9 with the Apostle Paul, it's going on, it's been going on in the last 2,000 years, and will end, so to say, at the catching up of the body of Christ, the people call the rapture. His grace is sufficient for us. What are we going through? Including physical afflictions. So should we pray for healing? By all means, when you're sick, you pray. <laughs> you should be praying without ceasing all the time, shouldn't we? But of course, get sick and see how much you pray. Yeah, you're gonna pray. But, you are in the hands of God. His grace is sufficient. What's sufficient for Paul is going to be sufficient for us because Paul is the first and the pattern of the new creature, aka the body of Christ. So the difference is, that nowadays preaching the gospel of the kingdom doesn't make any sense because God is not preaching, is not building the gospel of the kingdom on earth. What we learn is that God is building <coughs> the body of Christ, which is the new creature, which is going to reign in every place it's with Christ. How do you become a member of the body of Christ. Not by any effort. <laughs> Not your effort. You become a member of the body of Christ by believing and receiving the glorious gospel of Christ's grace. When you believe and receive how the Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, God saves you and He seals you with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the perishable session unto the praise of His glory. In other words, you become a member, in particular, of a body, a spiritual body, which is the church, the body of Christ. It's not a denomination, it's not an organization as such, is an organism, a spiritual organism, where we all brothers and sisters, we all members of the body of Christ, where those brothers and sisters who have learned studying the doctrine that Paul received from Christ, they endeavor as ambassadors for Christ, as I'm doing, to transmit this doctrine to others. But it's all by grace, you understand? There is nothing to do with uh, you or me doing or not doing certain things, good or bad. Our works are completely excluded. Because, to start with, we're all sinners in Adam. 
There is nothing that we can do to change that reality. In Adam, we are all sinners. We are we all lost. But by believing what Christ has, has done for us, God made him who knew no sin to become sin for us, to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. We get saved and sealed, and God builds his body of believers. Men and women, no difference. Different roles, but paradetic in his glorious presence. You will stand in the presence of, of God. We stand by, by faith. We are saved by grace through faith that not of ourselves, not of works, so no man should boast is the work of God. And only the Lord, who is the head of the body and the Savior and the Redeemer, knows when this body of Christ will be finished, complete. In terms of number, I don't know, he knows. In other words, if he wants to come today, tomorrow, 10 years from now, 100 years from now, to pick up, to catch up <laughs> the body of Christ in this event called the rapture, the catching up, to take us to heavenly places, he's the only one who can do that, and he's the only one who knows when it's going to happen. Our efforts try to get because of what is, whatever is happening on our, on earth now has no bear, uh, bearing with this because no prophetic uh, happenings. I know that people want because people are confused because they don't study the word of truth rightly divided. But when you study the word of truth rightly divided, you will learn. The simplicity which is in Christ. You are seeing your Christ the Savior. Christ is there of the body. Christ is building the body. So cease from this vain attempt to, to preach the gospel of the kingdom because he's not, he, will, he will establish his kingdom at the second coming, which happened after we get caught up. It's going to be seven years for Jacob troubles. Jacob's trouble years of, of a week of years, seven years. Great tribulation. The Antichrist, the beast, the false prophet. At the end of these seven years, Christ has come the second time to Israel because there's been a first coming to Israel, recorded in the four gospels, second coming re recorded in the book of Revelation, for example, recorded in, in Matthew 24 and synoptics and God Jesus who's God is going to establish his kingdom on earth the 12 sitting on the 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel Israel will be once again restored to uh, the position of uh, the city on the hill the light of the world and so forth the salt of the earth which uh, is not now because there is no Israel God now on earth the Israel of God when that nation, that, that's a different thing. I know it's a lot of information, but this information will become very clear for you once you first believe, receive the gospel of grace, and then you study the word of truth, right and about it. The will of God in this, the dispensation of the grace of God, he will have all men to be saved, the grace of faith, and to come to the knowledge of the truth. By reading and studying the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, yes, in my in particular, Roman Sufalim, that's the doctrine, the instruction, the directions, the words of Christ from heaven to us, the new creature. So we know what Christ has accomplished, who are we in Christ now, what is made of us in Christ. We learn his eternal purposes and we. Follow the Lord in, according to the instruction given to Paul. Not the instruction given to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, because those are written to Israel. Okay, I was very short. I really, I really hope it helps you. So there are no popes, no priests, no pastors to dominate, to control nothing. The authority is in the Word of God. The head of the body is Christ. The head of the body, the Savior, the Redeemer, we are His body, saved and sealed by grace, which is absolutely glorious. 
Yes, and peace to all.